Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss a way through which we can create the RPG program from VS Code and we will compile the same uh, from the VS Code itself. So let's see how to do this. So to achieve this, first of all, you have to connect your IBM I machine with your VS Code application. So if you are not aware of this process, then you can refer the previous session where we discuss how to connect the machine with VS Code, uh, IBM I machine with VS Code. Okay. In this session, mainly we will discuss about the way through which we can create the program inside the VS Code editor and we'll compile it, uh, compile the code from VS itself. Okay. So let's discuss. So first of all, what we need to do, we have to expand this object browser option. After that, we, we can create one filter here. So if I talk about green screen, then let's suppose I want to create my RPG program here in this location where source physical file name is QSharmit and library Sharmit1. So to access this particular location, I will create the filter. So if you are not aware how to create the filter, then you can also refer the previous session where we discussed in brief. But for now, I will tell you again how to create the new filter. So to create the new filter, you have to just click on this icon plus icon. Then this window will open and here you have to fill out few information like library where we want to access or where we want to create the program. So here I will put my library name, which is Shermit one. Then in object, you have, you can put the source physical file names. In my case, it is Q Shermit. Okay. And then just click on save settings. So now filter is created. Now just simply expand this filter. And once you expand it, you will see the source physical file here. So expand the source physical file. So here you can see that uh, one program is already there. And if we see the, see the same in uh, green screen, then it is also there, right? So this is the program that we, are ex we can access from here also. So if I click here, so it will open the source code for this particular member. Okay. But for now, we are going to create the new member in this source physical file. So to create new member, you have to hover on this source physical file, then click on plus icon, add member. And then you can give your member name, let's say RPG VS. This, uh, this is the program name I want to give RPG VS. Then we have to give the extension, which is R pgle and then just simply hit enter it will take few seconds and then it will open a member where we can write the code so here you can see that it shows the creating and opening member is done so the member is open here now we can write the code but before writing the code or compiling it let's check is uh, like this object is already there or not so for that, I will hit the command work obj, then f4, then put your object name, which we have created RPG VS, which we will search in Shermit1 library. So right now it shows cannot find object to match the specified name. It means object is not there. So this object we will create from the VS code. So let's see how. So member is open. What you need to do, you have to just simply write star star free because we will write the code in fully free format. You can also write the code in fixed format, but it is a bit difficult or a bit tricky to write the code in fixed format here in a VS code because here you need to keep uh, uh, keep the attention on each and every species because posi positions are fixed for the fixed uh, coding format. So it is a better way to go with the modern way of writing a code and use the fully free format so right now we are using it in a fully free format so just write star star free from the first position and then write dsply so for sample we are just printing one text here and write texture myth and put colon semicolon then terminate the program with inlr indicator which is last record indicator and make it star on code is ready so now the code is ready what we need to do we have to save it 
by pressing Ctrl S and after that you can compile it with one key you have to key, hit the key Ctrl E so once you press Ctrl E it will open these options from here we will select the first option create bound RPG program so just click on it once you click on it it will take some seconds and then you can see you can expand this and it will show was created successfully so just go to the green screen and to make it confirm let's go with the same command work obj check for rpg vs in library shermit one this time we have object right so if i take option 8 here then it will show yes creation date and time is 10 27 22 okay so which is correct because we are creating it right now so object is created so but it is not there so how we can see it here just press f5 for refresh so once your screen is refreshed it will be populated here now we don't need to compile it again because we have already compiled it from the vs code so you can simply put c to call this program and it is showing the output okay so in this way we can create the program from vs code to and also we can compile it okay now suppose we got some errors in this program let's say i missed this semicolon and now i will save it again and i will try to compile it again so press ctrl e and after that click on save now from these options we will select the create bound rpg program for compilation so once you click it it will show that was not successful because we, we are missing the semicolon so to check the spool file like usually on green screen we whenever we get there we go and look for the spool file but this here you can directly cl click on this show output so once you click on show output it will show the spool file here in the vs code itself and from here you can directly find a semicolon is not specified at the end of free format code okay so in this way you can easily find out what is the issue okay and then you can directly look into your program and if you want to scroll up like you can scroll up and find all the really details that we usually found in the uh, spool file so from here you can find the line number where semicolon is missing so just go and simply keep the semicolon and again save it and then press ctrl e to compile it and select the first option so now it is created successfully and then you can simply go and call it so it is quite easy to use this vs code application for ibmi or for rpg development so yeah uh, that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will see few more features of uh, vs code and we will try to create few more programs in the vs code and we'll understand the uh, more topic on it okay so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will cover few more things so thank you for watching tech Shermit.